FTI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the dynamic duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for details.
this time, please remain standing and face the American flag as we bring to you our beloved national anthem. This is the destination before the destination. You got to get to Woodward before you can get to the big house. Our girls game coming up this evening. Couple of panhandle teams going at it. It will be Hardesty Yarbrough in their first year as a co-op. They come in with a 22 and six record. Taking on the Forgan Lady Bulldogs who come in with an 18 and seven record. The starters first for HY. The senior number one, Alondra Moreno. A senior number five, Drima Rivera. A junior number 15, Emily Navarez. A sophomore number 23, Alexia Knelson. And a junior number 40, Brianna Estrada. A Hardesty Yarbrough is coached by head coach Kerry Corbin. He is assisted by Brooke Nave. And now the starters for the Lady Bulldogs from Forgan. A 5'6 junior number one, Carson Slatten. A 5'8 freshman number 14, Kinley Kirkhart. A 5'8 junior number 15, Reagan Kirkhart. A 5'11 sophomore number 23, Autumn Seaton. And a six foot junior number 34, Kylie Agan. The Lady Bulldogs are coached by head coach Travis Smaltz. He is assisted by Rob Lancaster and Larry McVeigh. We are ready for the opening tip. It will be Estrada for HY, and it will be Agan for Forgan. The winner here moves on to take on Boy City, who defeated Balco earlier this evening. The winner of that game tomorrow will move on to Saturday's contest where the winner earns a trip to the state, state tournament at the Big House. Hardesty Yarbrough with the opening possession. Moreno at the point. To the block, picks up her dribble, gets it to Rivera who drives in the lane, missed the shot, got her own rebound, put it back up, no good. Rebounded by Seaton. Quick pass up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart, baseline. Back outside to Slatten and over to Kinley Kirkhart. Now back up top to Slatten. Into the post to Egan, to the high post to Seaton. Back outside. Oregon, not only with the six footer inside and Egan, they've got three others that are pretty close in that height. That shot goes in from Kinley Kirkhart, and Forgan leads two to nothing. Moreno again at the point. 
Gets a screen from Estrada. Ball on the wing to Navarez. Now back up top to Rivera. Backdoor pass to Knelson. It goes in. She'll go to the line for the and one. The foul is going to be called on Kinley Kirkhardt. It will be her first. Team's first foul. Knelson's shot drops in after bumping off the back iron. Three to two, Hardesty Yarbrough with the early lead. High post, Agan takes the shot, in and out. Rebounded by Estrada. Rihanna Estrada, the kind of the key component of this HY offense. Their main scorer, Moreno with the drive, keeps her dribble into the corner. High post, dive inside by Navarez, kicks it out to Knelson, baseline. Inside to Estrada, puts up the shot. That was affected. Moreno puts up the shot, no good. And Estrada puts it up and in, fouled. She'll go to the line for the and one. So the second shots giving hardest to Yarbrough Early points, that's a first foul on Autumn Seaton. Missed it. Knelson blocked on the putback. Backdoor pass across the lane. And Autumn Seaton will go to the line. Foul will be on Moreno. That will be her first. Teams first as well. First free throw by Seaton is good. I'll correct myself. Kinley Kirkhart, the field goal that Forgan scored, apparently was a three. Both of those free throws go in for Autumn Seaton, and we're tied back up at five apiece. Pass blocked. Now loose on the floor, HY comes away with it. Then knocked away by Reagan Kirkhart. Gets it in the open court. And back outside, Kinley Kirkhart. Back to Reagan Kirkhart. Three from the corner, no good. Rebounded by Estrada. This is the first year of the hardest to Yarbrough co-op. That pass blocked by Reagan Kirkhart, but Estrada gets the loose ball. Dumps it down to the lane. Shot blocked by Agan, but they're going to call the foul on her. That'll be her first. Team's third foul. And it will be Emily Navarez at the line. She makes the first. Misses the second, Slatten with the rebound. Six to five now the lead for HY. Pass to Seaton, knocked away. Knelson comes away with the loose ball. That was good defense there by Navarez. Dreama Rivera up top with it. Down low to Estrada, ball tipped away and out of bounds. It'll stay with Hardesty Yarbrough. Rivera with the ball, gets a screen. Let's see where they call the foul. They'll call that on Reagan Kirkhart. That will be her first. No, no, no. They called that on Navarez for HY. So her first foul, team second foul. Slatten leaves it for Reagan Kirkhart. Into the lane. Seaton puts it off the glass and in. She's got four points. Forgan retakes the lead, seven to six. Defense, 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 defense. 
Vera still with it outside. Over to Knelson. Al Moreno. Gets the screen from Estrada. Picks up her dribble. Oh, that pass blocked by Reagan Kirkhart. It will stay Hardesty Yarbrough ball. Rivera at the point. Into the high post. Stolen away by Agan. She's into the open court. Takes it all the way up, left-handed layup is up and good. Good movement from one of your post players. Getting that steal, taking it coast to coast. Nine to six now, Forgan with the lead. Tries to drive in, Autumn Seaton and also Reagan Kirkhart both with the block there. Kirkhart passes to Agan, can't hold on to it, out of bounds. And back over to HY. 3-10 left here in the first quarter. Three-point lead for Forgan. Forgan, a perennial visitor to the area tournament here in Woodward. Hardesty, many trips here in the 70s and 80s. Yarbrough, their girls program, this is their first time ever to have a team in the area tournament. Nice ball movement. Estrada will go to the line as Reagan Kirkhart is called for her first foul. Team's fourth foul. So Estrada back at the line. Misses the first. In and out on the second, Autumn Seaton with the rebound. Quick outlet pass to Reagan Kirkhart. Races all the way to the baseline. High post to Seaton. Back outside. And now back up top to Slatten to the opposite side to Kinley Kirkhart. Slatten looked at the three. She'll drive in the lane. Puts up the short jumper. Leaves it short. Gets her own rebound. Brings it back out. Reagan Kirkhart with it in the corner. Now back to Slatten. Kinley Kirkhart on the opposite side now. Gets it back to Reagan Kirkhart. Has to throw it back before it goes out of bounds. Moreno had gotten a hand on it. Dumps it inside to Agan. Back outside to Slatten. Kinley Kirkhart open for three. Takes it. No good. Rebounded by Reagan Kirkhart. Puts it up. No good. But she draws the foul on Bree Estrada. That will be Estrada's first foul. Teams third foul Reagan Kirkhart at the line in and out on the first sub in for HY will be the sophomore number 22 Michaela Rodman and in for Forgan a 5'9 freshman number 5 Paige Seaton Off the front of the rim with the second. Estrada with the rebound. Went off the back of Moreno, but luckily there wasn't anybody to take it away from Forgan. So they do maintain their possession. Slatten guarding Rivera out close. And they're going to get the five second call. Ball back over to Forgan. Reagan Kirkhart with it on the wing. High post, backdoor pass. And off the bench, Paige Seaton, her first shot is up and good. 11 to six, Forgan now leads. Rivera with it, guarded tightly there by Slatten, hands it off to Moreno. Stolen away by Reagan Kirkhart. Takes it all the way in. Left-handed layup is good. Reagan Kirkhart's first basket of the game. Under a minute left here in the quarter. 13 to six, Forgan with the lead. 
And that's going to be a foul on Slatten. That will be her first. Team's fifth foul. Ball inbounded to Navarez. Now over to Moreno. Back to Navarez at the high post. Dribbles into the lane, dumps it off for Estrada. Turn around in the lane, puts it up and in. 13 to eight now, under 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kirkhart on the wing. Pass around, Paige Seaton, backdoor pass, Reagan Kirkhart, beautiful pass and lay in. 15 to eight, 12 left to play here in the quarter. Rivera at the point, calls out the play, six on the clock, may not be, realize it, three seconds, dives inside, across the lane, Moreno puts it off the glass and in. And after one quarter of play, Forgan leads hardest to Yarrow, 15 to 10. DI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the dynamic duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for details. Some of the action earlier in the day. First game, the Boy City Lady Wildcats defeated Balco 39 to 28. Like we said, the winner of this one will advance to take on Boy City tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. Also, the Balco boys fell to Burlington 64 to 48. Over at the Class A tournament in, Laver in uh, Enid, Laverne girls advanced with a 40 to 26 win over Pond Creek Hunter. Ball at the high post to Seaton, kicked outside to Reagan Kirkhart. Dives underneath, kicks it back out to Slatten. Now over to Paige Seaton. High post to Agan, puts up the shot, no good. Rebounded by Reagan Kirkhart. Gives it back to Agan, shot in the lane, off the glass, it's good. Second field goal of the game for Agan. It's now 17 to 10. Seven left to play here in the first half. Estrada with the ball. Back outside to Moreno. Pass down post into the post to Estrada, knocked away by Agan. All inbounded to Knelson. She'll get it back up to Rivera. Dumps it outside to Knelson. Drive by Navarez. And that one's blocked by Autumn Seaton. Outlet pass to Reagan Kirkhart. Leaves it for Slatten. Back to Reagan Kirkhart. Gets the screen from Seaton. No good. She left the shot short. And a foul is going to be called. That's going to be on Reagan Kirkhart. That will be her second. Team's sixth foul. 619 left in the half. Timeout on the floor. Forgan leads Hardesty Yarbrough 17 to 10.
out of the timeout. Hardest to Yarbrough ball. Also, we'll mention in 2A, Hooker girls defeated Yale 57 to 39. Navarez with the ball, goes to the hole, leaves it a little short, and a foul underneath. And that is going to be on Navarez. That will be her second, team's fourth foul. Foul on the short corner, now back outside to Paige Seaton. Into Agin, Drive, dribbles across the lane, puts it up too strong. Estrada with the rebound. Rivera with it. Kicks it outside to Moreno. High post to Navarez. Outside, Knelson puts up the shot. Too strong. Agan able to chase it down for Forgan. Slatten kicks it up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. She'll drive to the block, puts it up and in. Six points for Reagan Kirkhart, and it's a 19 to 10 lead with five left in the half for the Lady Bulldogs. Navarez with the ball, outside to Knelson, back to Navarez. Inside to Estrada, knocked away by Agan. Slatten picks up the loose ball, up to Reagan Kirkhart. High post, Autumn Seaton open, puts up the shot off the back iron. Egan with the rebound, left-handed layup, no good. Estrada with the rebound. Now Rivera with the ball. She'll back it out to midcourt as they set up their offense. Knelson now on the wing, back outside to Moreno. Into the corner, down low to Estrada and draws the foul. Foul will be called on Agan. That will be her second, team's seventh, so HY in the bonus the rest of the way. So it will be the one and one for Estrada. Off the back iron, Reagan Kirkhart with the rebound, races ahead, hesitates, and Rivera pokes it away out of bounds. Oregon will inbound on the baseline. Slatten for three from the corner. It's good. Second three for the Lady Bulldogs, and they've extended their lead to 12 over Hardesty Yarbrough. Moreno with the drive, splits the defenders, draws a foul. Foul will be on Paige Seaton. They'll say that was on the shot, so she'll get two. Gets the first one to roll in as Kinley Kirkhart returns for Forgan and Knelson returns for Hardesty Yarbrough. She makes the second as well, 22 to 12 now the score. Paige Seaton back to Slatten. Slatten looked at the three, dribbles, back to the corner, paid Seaton for three, too strong, out of bounds. Ball back over to Hardesty Yarbrough. Defense. 
And we've got a timeout on the court. 3.07 left in the half. Forgan leads Hardesty Yarbrough 22 to 12. It's the year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI High Speed Internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details. Out of the timeout, Hardesty Yarbrough with possession of the ball, trailing by 10. Rivera with it, kicks it to the corner to Estrada, who looks to drive baseline, picks up her dribble. And that one's stolen away by Kinley Kirkhart as she tried to get it back outside to Knelson. Paige Seaton back outside to Slatten. Now to the opposite side, Kinley Kirkhart into the post to Seaton back outside. Paige Seaton dumps it into Autumn Seaton outside to Slatten, puts up the wing three, no good. Rebounded by Estrada. Rivera leaves it for Moreno and that's gonna be a foul call on Seton, Paige Seton call for her second team's ninth foul as Reagan Kirkhart checks back in. Misses the front end, ball knocked out of bounds though. It last touched by Forgan, so it will stay with HY. 2.06 left here in the first half. 10 point lead for the Lady Bulldogs. Pass into Moreno, shot up in the lane, gets it to drop in. Her second basket of the game, she's got six. And it's 22-14, pass ahead to Agan. Through her hands, Estrada grabs it. Rivera dives into lane, kicks out to Moreno, who dives into lane, puts up the runner. No good. Agan with the rebound. Outlet pass to Reagan Kirkhart, who brings it across midcourt. Now she'll leave it for Slatten. High post to Agan. Tried to get it through to Autumn Seaton, but Knelson got a hand on it. Knocked it out of bounds. It will stay with Forgan. Under a minute and a half left here in the first half. Slatten with the ball on the wing. Now back to Reagan Kirkhart. Left open, Kinley Kirkhart. Almost daring her to take that shot. Now Slatten with it again. Kinley Kirkhart back to Slatten. High post to Agan. Three pointer from Kinley Kirkhart is good. She's hit two of them, and they're going to have to come out and guard her on that. Under a minute left here in the half. 11-point lead for Forgan. Estrada with it to the block, goes baseline, missed the shot, got her on rebound, tried to put it back, no good. Ball out of bounds off of Agan. It will stay with Hardesty Yarbrough. Pass into Knelson, she gives it back to Rivera. Down low to Estrada, turns inside, banks it in. He's got six points, 25-16 now the score, 30 seconds left in the half. Reagan Kirkhart with it on the wing. Into the post to Agan, turns inside, no good. Rebounded 
by Navarez. 15 left. Navarez dribbles all the way in. Now back out to Moreno. Back to Navarez, eight seconds. Tried to get it to Estrada. Last touch by Forgan. HY will inbound along the baseline. 5.6 seconds left in the half. Drima Rivera inbounds it to Navarez. Ball knocked away and last touched by HY. Good defense there and they'll say actually a foul on Navarez. That will be her third already. And so they'll quickly get her out of there as number 22, Michaela Rodman checks back in with 4.3 seconds left. They'll roll it in. Reagan Kirkhart picks it up near midcourt, dribbles ahead, back to Slatten. Long three from the top of the key, no good. We head to the half. The Forgan Lady Bulldogs lead Hardesty Yarbrough 25 to 16. We'll be back with the second half. The year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI high-speed internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details.
year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI High Speed Internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details. And we welcome you back for the second half of our contest here. Hardesty Yarbrough trailing Forgan 25 to 16. Leading scorers for both teams at the half, Reagan Kirkhart and Kinley Kirkhart, each with six apiece for Forgan. And for Hardesty Yarbrough, Alondra Moreno and Bree Estrada, each with six apiece. Uh, foul trouble for Yar Hardesty Yarbrough Emily Navarez with three as she picked up her third with four seconds left in the half. For Foregan, they've got three players with two, uh, Kylie Agan, Reagan Kirkhart, and Paige Seaton. Pass down low, knocked away as Foregan comes away with a turnover. Ball up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. Now back up to Slatten, now into Agan, across the lane to Autumn Seaton off the glass, too strong. Rebounded by Moreno. HY back the other way now. They'll leave it for Rivera. She'll get the screen from Estrada. Now over to Moreno. Backdoor pass, Estrada puts it off the glass and in. And it's 25-18 now. That lead would have been stretched to 12 earlier. Now down to seven. Kinley Kirkhart with it out top. Gives it up to Reagan Kirkhart. Kinley Kirkhart with it again now. Autumn Seaton back to Kinley Kirkhart. Almost a steal there by Rivera. Agan dumps it to the baseline to Autumn Seaton. Shot blocked by Estrada. She grabs the loose ball as well. Rivera looks to drive, leaves it outside to Canelsa. Now Estrada up and underneath, puts it up off the glass and draws a foul. Foul will be called on Autumn Seaton. She's got two fouls now. So Estrada at the line, sinks the first free throw. 6.23 left here in the third. Estrada rims out on the second. She's got nine now, and it's a six point differential. Kenley Kirkhart block door pass, and that's going to be a foul on Knelson on the floor. That was a bit of a dangerous play there. She came up underneath her after she went up for the rebound. That'll be Knelson's first foul, team's first foul. Pass into Agan, outside to Reagan Kirkhart. Now over to Kenley Kirkhart. He gets it inside. Autumn Seaton goes baseline. Estrada going to be called for the foul. That'll be her second. Let's 
Seaton misses the first free throw. And the second as well, Estrada with the rebound. Rivera inside to Estrada, loses control of it, ball loose on the floor, Slatten grabs it, outlet pass to Reagan Kirkhart, races up into the lane to Autumn Seaton, misses the shot, Egan with the rebound, puts it up, and she's fouled. That foul is going to be called on Emily Navarez. That's her fourth. Third team foul. And it will be Kylie Agan at the line for two shots. Agan rims out on the first coming in. A freshman, number 35, Noella Lowen. Hagen misses them both. Rebound out of bounds. Last touch by Estrada. Forgan will maintain possession. Slatten with it out top. Tries to drive. Rivera cuts her off. She's back out top. Reagan Kirkhart on the wing with it now. Over to Kinley Kirkhart. Slatten dumps it inside to Autumn Seaton, back outside. Reagan Kirkhart drives, kicks it to Kinley Kirkhart. Cut off by Rivera, knocked away momentarily, but got it back. Now Slatten with it back out top again. Leaves it for Reagan Kirkhart, gets the screen from Autumn Seaton, pulls up free throw line, no good. Egan re with the rebound, no good on the putback. Rivera with the rebound. Rivera races up, puts up the runner, no good. Estrada with the rebound. Moreno gets the loose ball. High post to Lowen. Now Knelson, that one knocked out of bounds. Looks like it was kicked by Forgan, so it will stay with HY. 4.30 left to play here in the third. Six point lead for Forgan. Knelson with the ball on the wing. Over to Moreno. Knelson looked at the three, dumps it down low to Estrada. Banks it up and in. That's 11 points for Estrada. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 4-12 left in the third. Forgan 25, Hardesty Yarrow 21. TI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the dynamic duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for details. Out of the timeout, Oregon ball leading by four as they've seen their lead cut down. Remember after this one, we've got one more at eight o'clock. The Boys City Wildcats take on the Buffalo Bison. All four games today, elimination games. You survive and advance at this point. There is no ugly wins. You take them however you can get them. 
Kinley Kirkhart with the ball. Now over to Slatten. Slatten dumps it to Agan in the corner. She looks to go baseline, puts up the shot, misses everything there as she was a little too far underneath. Ball out of bounds, last touch by HY though, so Oregon does maintain possession. Kinley Kirkhart had it knocked away by Rivera. Reagan Kirkhart, short line, baseline jumper, no good. Ball tipped out in front. Rivera with it, takes it to the hoop, and Slatten got enough of that, I think, to knock it away from her as her shot went up. Reagan Kirkhart with it back the other way in the lane. Back outside and a travel call. Ball back over to Hardesty Yarbrough. Rivera, all the way to the block, high off the glass, no good, Estrada with the putback. Estrada with 13 now, and it's a two-point game with under three to play here in the third. High post, Autumn Seaton back outside to Slatten. She'll get it into Agan, back outside. Autumn Seaton with it. Outside, Slatten for three. She drains it. Her second of the game. 28-23, Forgan. Down low, to, and that one blocked and taken away as Lowen tried to take it up, and Agan just ate that one up. Slatten up to Kinley Kirkhart. Now Slatten drives, dishes it over Reagan Kirkhart. Now back outside, pulls in for two. And about 15 away, she's got eight now, and it's 30 to 23. Oregon has built that lead back up again. Rivera pass intercepted as she tried to get it to Estrada by Slatten. Kinley Kirkhart with it. Now back outside to Slatten. In the post to Agan. Across the lane to Autumn Seaton. Puts it up off the glass and in. Six points for Autumn Seaton and it's 32-23. So what had been cut to a two point lead is now back up to nine as we near the one minute mark of the third quarter. Screen, Rivera all the way to the hoop, puts it up, no good, but draws a foul. That foul will be on Autumn Seaton, her third. This is the team's second foul of the half, so it will be Rivera at the line. Dreama Rivera still looking for her first points. Misses the first. Rodman checks back in for HY. Paige Seaton checks back in for Forgan. Once again, the winner advances to take on Boys City tomorrow at 1.30. Missed the second as well. Rebounded by Kinley Kirkhart. Pass up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. Back to Slatten. 45 seconds left here in the third. Oregon looking to move their lead back up to double digits here before the end of the quarter. Ball over to Agan, now to Reagan Kirkhart. And it looks like they're going to hold for one shot now. 30 seconds left. Slatten with it now. Picks up her dribble, maybe a little early, able to get it to Agan. Back outside to Reagan Kirkhart. Now Slatten with it again. Guarded tightly there by Rivera. 12 seconds on the clock. Over to Reagan Kirkhart. 
Back over to Slatton. Three pointer by Page. Seaton for three. Two seconds left in the quarter. Inbounded to Rivera. Won't get the shot off in time. And we head to the fourth quarter. Forgan leads hardest to Yarbrough, 35 23. The year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI high-speed internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details. And we are ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Forgan will have possession of the ball, leading by 12 points. Navarez has re-entered the game with four fouls. Have to be very careful at the defensive end. That one tipped away by Rivera. Can't save it before it goes out of bounds. So it will stay with Forgan. Slatten drives in the lane, kicks outside to Kirkhart. She'll drive in the lane, outside to Kinley Kirkhart for three, in and out. Hagen with the rebound and a foul on the floor. That one's going to be on Rodman. Her first, team's fourth foul. All inbounded to Agan. Now she'll get it to Reagan Kirkhart. Gives it back to Agan. Outside to Paige Seaton. She'll leave it for Reagan Kirkhart. Comes off the screen. Lifter wide open to the block. Drives it in. Puts it up and in. 37 23. Reagan Kirkhart now with eight points. That's her first basket of the second half. Seven minutes to play. Moreno with the drive, tries to split the defenders and draws a foul. That'll be on Aiken. That'll be her third. Moreno misses the first. And makes the second. She's got seven points now. 37-24 the score. Slatten up ahead to Agan. Over to Reagan Kirkhart. And back outside to Slatten as they were able to beat the press handily. Rivera knocks it away, but Slatten chases it back. Down. She'll spin, kicks it outside. Reagan Kirkhart with the drive in the lane. Paige Seaton comes off the curl block from Agan, gets her own rebound. Back outside, they'll hand it back to her. Now to Agan at the high post. She'll drive to the block, no good. Rebounded by Moreno. Drives all the way to the baseline. Pass inside to Estrada, knocked loose. Kinley Kirkhart comes away with it. Up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. Down low to Egan, beautiful pass. Lays it up and in for the basket. 
Timeout on the floor, 5.59 left to play. Forgan has opened it up and now leads hardest to Yarbrough, 39 to 24. It's the year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI high-speed internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details. Out of the timeout, Rivera passes it in to Rodman. Rodman brings it up, splits the defenders down the block, loses control, ball out of bounds, back over to Forgan. Full court pressure, Slatten, pass up ahead, off the hands of Paige Seaton, and Estrada is going to be called for the double dribble. Ball back over to Forgan. Into the backcourt to Slatten, guarded there tightly by Rivera. Kinley Kirkhart, Egan at the free throw line, back outside. Slatten all the way to the hole, little too strong, Estrada with the rebound. She'll leave it for Moreno. Navarez splits the defenders, puts it high off the glass. No good. Agan with the rebound. Quick outlet pass to Reagan Kirkhart. Up past midcourt. Defense left. She missed the layup, though. Paige Seaton tied up with Navarez. And ball back over to HY. 5.06 to play. Pass inside to Navarez, off the glass, no good. Moreno gets the rebound, puts it back up, no good. Ball loose on the floor, put back up by Navarez, no good. Moreno puts it up, no good. Gets her own rebound. Gets it off to Rivera. Well, four or five attempts from point blank, but couldn't get anything to go. Rivera's three, no good. And a foul underneath. That's going to be on Navarez, and she has fouled out. Emily Navarez, a junior starter for HY, has fouled out of the game. Slatten over to Kinley Kirkhart. Up ahead, now Agan at the block. Can't get it to go. Estrada with the rebound. Outlet pass to Rivera. Drives all the way across. Tried to pass across the lane to Rodman. Couldn't touch, couldn't get out to grab that one. Ball back over to Forgan. And we are near the midway point of the fourth quarter. Full court pressure again. Slatten pushes it up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. High post to Agan. Back outside to Reagan Kirkhart. Comes off the curl. Kinley Kirkhart. She'll leave it for Paige Seaton. Underneath, back out to Slatten. High post to Agan. And Kinley Kirkhart 
tied up by Rodman. Arrow points in favor of Forgan, so they will maintain possession. 3.43 left to play. Oregon up by 15. If they advance, it will be a rematch of the regional championship. Last week between Oregon and Boy City. Boy City won that one, but it was a great contest. Foul is going to be called on Moreno. That will be her second team's sixth foul. That one by Reagan Kirkhart, rims out. Very balanced scoring from Forgan. They do not have a single person in double digits. And that one won't go in either. Estrada with the rebound. Moreno hands it off to Estrada. She'll put up the three, that's good! So the post player sinks the three. She's got 16, 12 point game. Kinley Kirkhart shot from the free throw line, no good. Chases down her own rebound, double teamed in the corner, gets it out to Paige Seaton. And back up top to Slatt, now back to Kinley Kirkhart. Baseline shot, rims out. And a foul gonna be called on Agan. That will be her fourth. Team's fourth foul. Autumn Seaton checks back into the game for Forgan. Three oh four left to play. Twelve point game. Long pass ahead to Rivera, trying to conserve a little bit of time. Over to Estrada. Now back to Rivera. Dumps it inside. Knocked out by Autumn Seaton. Moreno got it back. Ball inside to Estrada. Puts up the shot. No good. Loose ball. Picked up. Ball out of bounds. Back over to Forgan. Rodman had grabbed that rebound. She tried to bounce pass to Moreno, but bounce pass was a little bit too strong and went past her and out of bounds. Slatten with it now. Over to Reagan Kirkhart. Splits the defenders. Now to Agan, back outside to Slatten. Oregon will try to run clock here. Reagan Kirkhart with it. Paige Seaton lost it for a second as Knelson knocked it away, but got it back into Autumn Seaton. She'll turn baseline side and a foul on the shot by Rodman. That will be Rodman's second foul. Team's sixth foul. Or make that seventh, so Forgan in the bonus the rest of the way. Timeout on the floor. 2-10 left to play. Forgan leads hardest to Yarbrough, 39-27. CI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the Dynamic Duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for details. So Autumn Seaton at the line. Misses the first free throw. 12 point game with 2.10 left to play. Gets the second one, she's got seven. And it is now a 13 point game, Rivera with it. Gets the screen from Estrada, now 
Over to Rodman. Rodman looks to drive. Over to Moreno. Moreno drives in the lane. Dumps it off to Estrada. Banks it in. Estrada now with 18. Under two to play. 40-29. Full court pressure. Pass up ahead to Reagan Kirkhart. In to Agan in the post. Back outside to Slatten. Rivera goes for the steal. Slatten circles around. Pass over to Reagan Kirkhart, and that's going to be a foul on Rodman that will send Reagan Kirkhart to the line for the one and one. As that is the eighth team foul. Reagan Kirkhart sinks the first. She'll get another. And gets the shooter's roll on that one. And Reagan Kirkhart, the first lady bulldog in double digits with 10. 42-29 with a minute and a half left to play. Estrada puts up the three, leaves that one short. And a jump ball is Morena and Agan. Both had their hands on it. Ball will stay with HY. Ball out front, Knelson with it. Now over to Rodman. Loses control of that one. How there wasn't a foul. Moreno just flat out tackled Reagan Kirkhart, but no call on that one. And we've got a timeout on the floor. 108 left to play. Forgan leads HY 42 to 29. It's the year 2020, and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important, family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI high-speed internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for more details. So out of the timeout, HY. And we had an interruption with the buzzer going off. Looks like they restarted <laughs> before the timeout clock went off. So they'll restart now. Rivera with the ball. Gets the screen for Moreno. Gets another double team, though. She'll have to give it up to Rodman. Down low to Estrada, who's double teamed. Moreno dumps it down low to Estrada again, and she draws a foul. Foul will be on Paige Seaton. It'll be her third, team's fifth foul. So Estrada at the line, leading scorer in the game. She's got 18, sinks that first one. She's got 19 now, 55.7 left to play. M misses the second, rebounded by Slatten. 12-point game. And a foul going to be called on Knelson. That will be her second. They'll walk to the other end for the one and one. It will be Agan going to the line. He's 0 for 2 today. In and out. Rebounded by Rodman up to Rivera. Vera gets it into Estrada, and they'll call that foul on Autumn Seaton. That'll be her fourth, team's sixth foul. So they'll inbound underneath the basket. 42 seconds left to play. Inbounded to Rivera. 
Gets it over to Estrada. Estrada back outside to Moreno, who looks to drive underneath. No good, too strong. Safe from going out of bounds. It'll be a jump ball. And it's Forgan's favor for the arrow. They'll take back possession, under 30 to play. Hagen with the ball, gives it back to Slatten, and a travel call. Twenty-three point five on the clock. Ball knocked away and out of bounds. And it will stay with Hardesty Yarbrough. That one knocked out of bounds by Agen. So now HY will inbound in front of their own bench. 21.3 left to play. Lob pass to Estrada and a foul on the floor. They'll call that one on Autumn Seaton. And that will be her fifth. So she is fouled out of the game. Scored seven points. Checking back into the game will be Kinley Kirkhart. And Estrada will go back to the line. It'll be the one and one as that is the seventh foul. Gets that one to roll in. 20 points now for Estrada. 20.5 on the clock. Gets the second one as well. Timeout on the floor. 20.5 left to play. Forgan leads Hardesty Yarbrough 42 to 32. CI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the Dynamic Duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to ptci.net for details. Ball inbounded to Slatten. She's immediately fouled by Rivera. That will be Rivera's first foul. So they'll walk to the other end, and it will be Carson Slatten at the line. That is the 10th team foul. So two shots the rest of the way as they are now in the double bonus. Slatten rattles that one home. And gets the second one as well. She's in double figures with 10. 44-32, under 20 seconds to go. Rodman brings it up. Leaves it for Moreno. Three from the corner. No good. Rebounded by Paige Kirkhart. Or Paige Seaton, I'm sorry. Five seconds left. Slatten dribbles it across midcourt, and that is it. The Forgan Lady Bulldogs have defeated the hardest, hardest to Yarbrough, 44-32. Hardesty Yarbrough ends a fantastic season, 22 and seven. Long time since either of those schools have been to the area tournament. Like we mentioned, first time Yarbrough has been involved with the team that's been here. Forgan will move on, advance, and they will take on Boy City tomorrow at 1.30. That will be a rematch of the regional championship game that took place a week ago. Coming up next, the Boy City Wildcats take on the Buffalo Bison. Give us about 10 minutes 
We'll be ready for that one. year 2020 and I'm thinking this should be a time to really focus on what's important family. We here at PTCI feel the same way. Even if you have family on the other side of the world, you should be able to communicate with them. PTCI High Speed Internet allows you to do just that. And remember, PTCI is local and will continue to make the best technology available in the Panhandle area, so you can stay in touch with your loved ones everywhere. Call 800-562-2556 or go to PTCI.net for more details. PTCI's dynamic duo is here to save the day. We all like to save money, right? These superheroes are here to help you save when you combine PTCI cell and internet. With the dynamic duo, you can get 50 meg internet for $65 a month for life. Need more speed? For only $10 more a month, you can double the speed to 100 meg. Call 800-562-2556 or go to PTCI.net for details.